All right. I'm going to show you the, uh, the importance of uh, choosing the correct K. And we're going to do this based on an example. We have in the middle a black point here, which we call X test. And that point is surrounded by some blue and red dots. Yeah? Uh, now we're going to try to predict the class of X test for several Ks. Yeah? The green numbers you see are the indices of the points, whereas the black numbers you see are the distance between the points and X test. So, if we try uh, case one, it's clear that point number one, yeah, point number one is a red point. So, if we are agreeing with the fact that similar points have similar labels, we would classify the test point as red. Yeah, it's quite obvious. When case two, the next closest points are these three blue ones. But we only need one, so we take the blue one. So we take number one. We take number one and number seven. Yeah. Remember that in order to weigh the, the points, we're going to divide by the square of the distance. Yeah. Um, so if we take the red point one in and we divide by the square of the distance, we have the red point divided by 16. The blue point number 7 has a distance of 6. So that means it's going to be uh, a blue point divided by 36 on the square of 6. So here you can still see that the red point will force its class upon the test point. Let's take the next point now. We take now 1, 7 and 6. 1, 7, and 6. Yeah. So we still have the red point divided by 16. But we now have two blue points divided by 36. So we have two blue points divided by 36. It's 1 over 18, so the red one still wins. So it's still going to be labeled red here. Yeah. Now let's take the next point in, another blue one. So we have 1, 7, 6 and 5. Yeah. And it's again a 1 over 36. Now we have 3 times 1 over 36 versus a red one which is uh, divided by 60. But 3 over 36 is the same as 1 over 12. Yeah. Is 1 over 12. So suddenly this point will change class to blue. Yeah? So what I wanted to show you is that you know choosing the right K is important because it has an effect on the outcome of your algorithm. Now, if K is too small, you could be subject to noise. Yeah? What I mean by that is you have uh, several uh, training points here and coincidentally one red one sneaked in and if this is your test point here well you're gonna label this point as red whereas it's actually surrounded by blues. Now this happens when K is too small. When K is too large you will um, enter second class zone huh? so for example if this is your uh, if these are your five blue dots and you have a um, you have a test point in the middle here, the black one, test point. And around this it's all red. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, you see that at some point you're gonna take all the red ones in. 
Yeah, assume that there's a non-linear decision boundary here, and you'll actually misclassify it as red if you take k too large. Yeah. 